Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the table. So, I know it's been a while. I've kind of been MIA. Um, I'm finally at the end of my busy season. Um, I've had two shows the past two weekends. And then last week was kind of a mad dash to remake some new stuff for the show this past weekend. And um, now I'm kind of finishing Christmas orders. So, this one is actually a requested one. I'm not going to say for who, just in case they're watching. Um, but this one was a, a custom request. It is uh, deep purples, lavender, and silver. So we are going to do kind of a different style. It's going to be kind of a flip cup, but I also have some silver in a squeeze bottle that we're going to use. The colors today are lavender, dioxine, purple, deep plum, and this deep plum I actually added just a touch of black to just to make it a little bit deeper. Shimmering silver, which is basically an off-white silver, um, so I added just a drop of this silver into it because it's so much darker and it brought it up just about a shade and then I have this one by itself and the this one is the one that's in the uh, squeeze bottle so um, I'm uh, one thing I forgot to do since this person likes shimmery stuff we're gonna add some pearl X to the purples to give them a shimmery tint And there was already metallics in the silver, so we don't have to add anything to the silvers. Okay. Let me mix that up. Our mixture is Floetrol, Water, Pigment, the Shimmering Pearl that we just put in them. And then I think we are gonna do a drop of silicone in one silver and one purple. So we are going to use our treadmill silicone and we are going to do only one drop. Do one drop in the deep purple and one drop in the lighter silver color. And that's all we're putting in. Um, I also added this uh, Liquitex gloss medium and varnish to it. I've noticed with the paintings they dry so much they don't dry better, but I think they dry shinier and already have a really good kind of a varnishy look to them um, when I add this to it. So um, I'm starting to add that to my paints as well. Just one squirt, not a whole, whole bunch. Um, okay, get those mixed up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some flip cups, but I'm going to put the cups down kind of all over the place. And then we're going to squeeze this in between them because I kind of want like a separation flow type thing going on. Um, so while we get that set up, a few house cleaning things. Um, has somebody tell me, you know, please wear gloves. These paints are toxic. Um, I appreciate your concern. But um, a majority of the paints that I use are non-toxic. So um, they say right here, I don't know if you can read that, they are non-toxic paints. Now some paints, uh, yes, are not non-toxic. And then if I use those, then yeah, I'm going to wear gloves. But with these, I just, I don't see a point. I think it's a waste of money to, to waste money on, on gloves whenever I can just wash my hands. Because I wash my hands immediately afterwards. So, um, yep. Um... Let me see, what else was it? Oh, I had somebody send me a comment that, you know, planning out the paints is not, planning out the paintings is not respecting the canvas. If you don't like that I plan, don't watch. I'm a planner, always have been, always will be. Um, I have an idea in my head and I'm gonna plan to make that come to fruition. I'm not, never really been a fly by the seat of my pants type girl. So um, there's that. And, um, Somebody had made a comment about me using bleach to uh, clean my husband's clothes. My husband is a painter. 
he wears painter white and so yes I'm gonna use bleach whenever I clean his clothes um I guess in the comment I had made I use a crap load of bleach or crap bleach the heck out of my husband's clothes or something like that I was being sarcastic um I don't know why I even have to explain that but I was yes I use bleach to clean my husband's clothes uh, he wears whites every day, and so, but I use the regular amount of bleach that the machine calls for. So, okay, so on to painting. What we're going to do is, I kind of want uniformity to it, so we're going to do the dark purple first. And I moved my cups, so hopefully y'all can see them. I uh, prepped the canvas first. I painted it. I used a foam brush, which I normally don't use um, today, and I used the, um, the deep plum to prep it so that our sides and everything, hopefully if we do get any crevices or anything like that, that, that they'll be covered. Okay, so we are gonna do the deep plum first with a little bit of black in it. Oh, sorry, I have the sniffles, I'm getting over a head cold. The weather here in Texas has been so crazy. Um, I think it was Thursday or Friday of last week. Thursday it snowed in Central Texas, which is weird. Um, it snowed, and then, um, you know, the following day it was, you know, in the 40s all day long, and then the following day it was almost 80 degrees. And so, you know, it's Texas weather. We're kind of used to it. So I'm actually going to pour these um, from darker to light. So the next one we are going to use um, that, that first one was the deep plum. The next one we're going to use is the dioxine purple. And remember, the deep purple is the one that had the silicone in it. This one does not. My hands are a little shaky because we just got back from the gym. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning here. Okay, so the next one is going to be the lavender. Just mix it up again real quick. Oh. And these I'm all pouring straight in the middle. Okay. And then the last one, we are going to do the lighter silver color. And this one, we're going to kind of go in the middle and they kind of do like a swirl because I really want to break up all that purple in there. So we are going to go in the middle and then do like a swirl. Um, oh, I've had a couple people send me messages asking if my paintings are for sale. Yes, they are. Um, they are on my website at woodworkinginfaith.com. And they're also on my Etsy page, um, which is Woodworking in Faith 12. And you can always follow me on Facebook um, at Woodworking in Faith. Because um, I'll post coupon codes and that kind of stuff on there as well. Okay, so we are going to put the cups on. We're just going to kind of put them random. No. Um, I know I kind of want it to flow this way. So we're going to do this. Mm, here. Okay. And then I'm going to make up a small cup to get my corners. Okay. I'm just making up a quick small cup here to do corners. Where'd my silver go? Okay. And as I've done before, because we want it to stay uniform, I'm going to take the cup I just did and do a flip cup on my hand. And then that way we're going to get that mixture that we need so our corners look the same as everything else.
Okay. Now we're gonna take our darker silver color. We're just gonna put some lines in here. Okay. All right. I'm always trying to remember not to put my arm in the way so you guys can see. Remember, I do use all of my runoff. I have my little trusty container here um, to put all the paint in once I'm done. So I can use it as a base coat for something. All right. So there is no waste. Um, I, use, I use everything. Let's see what we can get. Now I see where the separations are, so what we're going to do is we are going to do a little bit here. <clears throat> Just following the lines that are already there. I need to build my videoing contraption so y'all can see what's going on whenever I tilt it this direction. Hopefully after the season's over, um, January is kind of my month to build stuff that I thought about during the, during the season that would be helpful. Okay. Now I think we're going to do a little bit of, I wish I had my air blower in here, but I don't still outside because I'm still building stuff out there. Oh, oh, and I had somebody asked me about the canvases that I make, um, the wood ones that I make the frames and everything for. Um, I will do a video of that. Um, it's probably not going to be until January because um, right now I just don't have time, but I will do a video of, um, of how I build those canvases. So I'm going to grab my straw here and we're just going to feather out some of this silver. Now, all I'm doing is I'm going straight in the middle of the silver and just pushing it outwards. Hi, everybody. Sorry about that. I did not know that my video had cut off. Apparently, my phone put me on a time limit. So, all I did after that is I did a couple more um, just air blowns with it. And then I just tilted it a little bit just to get some more um, movement. And so, this is the finished product. 
Okay, and bring you in closer. Alrighty, here it is. All right, thank y'all very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will do my best to get back to you. And as always, God bless.